crazy. Ta-da! From hippie Ibiza, we're going to trendy Ibiza. I can't put this on YouTube. What you see here is very real. Guys, welcome to Magical Ibiza! Yay! We are now at the, well, the Magical Magnetic Esvedra. This first week, we are here on an invite by Camp And Camp is an amazing website which rents campers and caravans. And we are now at the home to pick up our camper for this week. And take a look. Ta-da! <laughs> Very windy here, but seriously, check out this place where he lives. It's crazy. You have a view like this. <gasps> Can you imagine this being your garden? You just have the sort of a live meditation spot. Oh, you already was up. Yes! No! <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> hi, 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 vlog. Whoa, crazy. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. This is our home for the upcoming week. Mm -hmm. This is our bed. It is really cool. We're just gonna drive to the northern part of the island now. I can't even vlog in a normal way because this car makes so much noise. I always used to camp. Mr. Ali here didn't camp at all. No. But I never slept in a camper. This is our first camping camper in general camping adventure ever and I am loving it already. a lot actually when I was a child but I didn't camp in I think about 10 years or something and I love this so much I just know now for a fact that I will be outside for two weeks at least I love that what are we having um, we have a very strong drink actually it's, it's brewed or made by 20 21 herbs right yeah yeah and it must be very strong so from Ibiza to, yeah, from Ibiza Ibiza, Ibiza. Oh with a little bug yeah oh no that's the uh, herbs in it the, the, the plum oh look at everything what's in it okay to ibiza oh it is strong though mm. but it's nice so it's a beach you know? the camping is camping la playa and the bar is it's so cozy and nice take a look <laughs> you definitely earned this one Thanks, babe. for driving so well. This old timer. Cheers, babe. As you can imagine, this is not really the place to really care about makeup or pretty much what I'm wearing because it's just like easygoing, very chilled out. That's the perfect thing of camping, I think. I love it. And I woke up this morning and I just thought, oh my God, it was so silent. And seeing the sea and these beautiful trees is just amazing. So this is where we are. And this is where I'm at right now because I actually have to work now. I am a freelancer and I got a last minute freelance job just before leaving. And that's obviously, that's the downside of freelancing because you have to be flexible. So it gives you a lot of freedom, but at the same time, sometimes you just, um, you just have to do these things as well. So while the boyfriend is chilling out at the beach, I'm just sitting here writing, editing, etc., etc. And it's okay, but we can't really do a lot of things today because this just is a priority for today so yeah welcome to the life of the digital nomad as well guys four hours later i had a very productive working day today but now it is time for some relaxing we're just at the beach just next to uh, our campsite the perfect thing about ibiza is that if you don't have difficulties with uh, lying topless or even nudity you can just do your thing here you get a very nice tan i 
think Ibiza is the perfect island if you want to set yourself free a little bit more. It's very normal here on every beach basically to see women topless or completely naked. Also men. It's just normal here, you know? And that's so good, I think. We all sort of look the same. I can't put this on YouTube. Looking for a place to meditate. It's so beautiful here. Crazy. have a weird energy or I don't know if it was the air conditioning of the uh, plane but I need some salt in my nose. What do you? I should have oh it's no 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 it's backwards. It's okay. It's Ibiza. A cleanse. <laughs> Although it was pretty cold it wasn't so bad and I honestly think that well I feel that my nose is doing much better as it turns out as always nature is pretty much the perfect remedy for everything. So let's hope it will stay this way. Refreshing as well. It was a good wake up call, good start of the day. From serenity to extreme madness, we're going to the hippie market, which is just around the corner of our camping. Everything is just around the corner these days. I actually went to all the markets here a few years ago as well. I really like the San Juan market on Sundays. This one is extremely busy, very crowded, but you really have to look for the right products and the right brands and then you can actually find some sort of hidden gems on the market. You survived, you did so well. We can truly recommend if you wanna go to the hippie market, if it's this one or Las Dalias, it doesn't really matter, to go at the end of the day because everybody goes around 12 or one, I think. It's madness, but at the end of the day, it is so much better, so much nicer, so much calmer, but we survived. And now it is time to chill out and have a drink. I'm supporting a lot of alcohol in this vlog, I think. It's a holiday alcohol kind of vibe. I have lost, but at least we're here. Hippie party. Good morning. Ibiza is the perfect island for tall people. I recognize the smell, it smells amazing. Guys, what is this? This is a really cute place to just have a coffee or green juice. This one is with celery, cucumber, ginger, apple and spinach. Mm. Handmade lemonade. Oh, very nice. Yeah. And the hike continues. There can be a lot of wind on the west side. So then you have to go to the east side or the northern part because usually it's wind free here. Here. Obviously Ibiza is full of nice beaches, but this is one of the rare sandy beaches. A lot of them are pebble beaches. This one is a great option just to chill out or do a nice little hike in the area and end up here. It's quite hard to vlog on um, the beaches on Ibiza. 
because of the certain amount of freedom you have here. But we're now on a little beach at Calanova. If you're not maybe comfortable in your skin, it might be nice to see Ibiza once and just go lie down on one of the beaches like this. Because seriously, what you can see here is just a mixture of all kinds of people and all shapes and sizes. For me, it's just a confirmation that how human beings look like is not formed by what we see in the media or Playboy. And I think a lot of insecurity comes forth from media because what you see here is very real. <laughs> We're gonna try for the first time this ice cream, Lupe. Lupe? Lupe. It is 100% natural. And I bought the pear and raspberry. It looks amazing. Very yummy. And what do you think? Very good, right? I love it. And the journey continues. We're going to Santa Gertrudis, which is only a half an hour away. <laughs> This is such a cute little village. It's perfect to have a good lunch or dinner. Apparently it's well known for its gastronomy. You have cute little shops. Nice to just spend a few hours or a day just chilling out. It has a very nice vibe. Professional wild child has to eat at Wild Beats, right? This is kombucha brewed in Ibiza. Looks like beer, right? It's good, yet again. Look how amazing this looks. I have the superfood salad and you have the falafel salad. Salad, yeah. <laughs> ah, it's so sweet. <laughs> hey, it's right here. Yeah. yeah. Heads are shining because of the sunscreen. Shine, shine. So as the car is warming up, we have to warm it up every time when we want to leave. It takes like five minutes or a few minutes at least. I have to say that we really own this car by now. We have a spot for everything. So our clothes are in a certain spot and we know how to do the bed and things. It just took us a few days to really get to know the car, you know? Now that we got it, I have the feeling that we can travel much more with such a car. Get the hippie vibe going. Doors is always a good idea. Contrast. So from hippie Ibiza, we're going to trendy Ibiza in like, we are now at Cala Bonita, a very fancy, well not very fancy, it's cozy as well. Looks really pretty, but you have to make a reservation. We're even lucky to be sitting here. We're gonna have a fancy lunch here as little hippies. <laughs> okay, we just finished lunch and we can truly recommend it. It's like a little hidden gem here. Good atmosphere, great service, very good food. Yeah, and now we're just chilling on the beach. Not a very sandy beach though, but very nice. With a little head. <laughs> Okay, time to go to the camping again. Good vibes, we had a wonderful day. I was just listening to uh, audiobooks all day. Currently listening to Dying to be Me. My God, what a great book. I'll uh, include it in my May favorites for sure. Last day of our adventures with our camper by Camp 2. Woohoo! 
Okay, we are now at the San Juan market, which is always on Sundays between uh, 10 and 4, I believe. It's perfect to do before you go to Benidas, which we will also do today. But I was editing the footage that I made this week yesterday. And then I saw when I described Camp 2, that it was actually really windy. So I thought I would explain it a little bit more now. Camp 2 is a brilliant organization from the Netherlands where you can rent or rent out a motorhome or a caravan. And they're all unique and well maintained. And they have pickup locations in the Netherlands, obviously, but also in Spain and in Italy and in France and even in Australia. They're going international uh, more and more. And uh, I have big hopes for them because they're sort of like the Airbnb for campers. And obviously a lot of people have motorhomes and caravans that are standing still for well maybe 50 weeks a year it's all part of like the sharing economy trend i'm a big advocate for those things so uh, in general i just wanted to explain it a little bit more so let's go to the market now with all kinds of raw food goodies. Mm. Snacking has never felt so good. Lekker man. <laughs> and this market guys I can totally recommend going here because I love it the atmosphere is so good and it's really nice being here yet again the perfect thing about having a mobile home is that you actually have everything with you all the time so now after the market we want to go to the beach and all we have to do is let's go We're currently hiding in the shade. Uh, the sun is so strong. We are now at Beniras Beach and I have to say that I'm shocked by the amount of people here today. It's busier on Sundays because there are many drummers here on Sunday and the vibe can be very nice and people are dancing in the end. But still, this beach is beautiful. The view is stunning. I have to say that when I lived here, I lived just up the road and during the week in April, it was just so silent and calm. So take a look to get why I'm shocked. It's a pretty beach. On the left side of the beach you actually have stairs and the sound is actually way better here and the view is even more beautiful. It's our last night in our motorhome. Thank you Cam2 for this amazing experience. We absolutely loved it. And if you want to see more of Ibiza, we will be here another week. So stay tuned and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and keep letting love rule. Bye! Yay!